Collision Hub and it's SEMA 2018 and we're out on the floor, we're picking the cool tools of SEMA like we always did. For this one, well I called it before we came here. A couple of weeks ago we released the videos on the booths that you had to see when at the show and we told you that you had to get to Evercoat to check out the Optex new filler that's been released and I told you it was going to be a winner and it turns out SEMA agrees with me because it just got best new product of SEMA. So I thought, well, while we're here, let's take a tour of it. Mike, you've yes. agreed to help me out. Yes, I have. So let's talk about this filler. So first of all, let's start with the mixing process because it's going to mix out a little different than what people are going to see when I go to sand, right? It's going to mix out just the same. It's going to change colors oh, it's on me, Mike. It's going to change colors as that goes. Yes, of course. It's yeah. going to come pink and it's going to, it's going to change the green. All right. So I got a couple of uh, options here when I go to look. I've got the putty and I've actually got the filler. Mike, let's mix up a little bit of filler, all right? Let's mix up a little all right. bit of filler, okay? Give me a little dab there. All right. It kind of looks like ice cream, Mike. It does, but yeah. it doesn't taste anything like ice cream. I yeah. recommend uh, eating it. I'm gonna mix up just a little bit more. All right since we're on camera. All right, so this is about a four inch puddle. I'm gonna put a some cream hardener All right. moving across. So keeping the same mixing ratio that we're kind of used Correct. to in the shop. Correct. Nothing's changed with that of the nope. product. Nope. Again, best practices with putty mixture. So a couple of things to keep in mind. One, always use the hardener that comes with the product that you've purchased. I know all of us somewhere have that little hardener throwaway box somewhere in our toolbox with four or five different brands, but things are designed to work together just like in the refinishing between I go to primers to base to clears. So make sure you're always using the right hardener. We want to mix and fold. If we get too jerky and too swirly, we're going to put some pinholes in it. And then the third thing to remember is always, always, always make sure that you're mixing on the appropriate substrate. So no cardboard or any extra panels that you found. Make sure you've got either a good mixing tear-off sheet or a hard mixing board. No contaminants in the filler. Now we've got the Echo Resin technology here. So pinholes really, as long as I do my right mixing, do my right hardener ratio, and I don't wrap it pure, Correct. I'm going to be in good shape, right? I'm going to lay down this first, first application is basically just a, a very thin right. coat. Very almost, tight skin coat. Yeah, almost yeah. like a, a see-through. Yeah, so we have two OEMs that require that we lay down an epoxy before we put the filler. So for following that OE's procedures, excellent, put your epoxy down and then your coat. But if you are going direct to metal with your filler, you always want to make sure that that first coat is that very, very tight skim coat. That's getting into all of your metalwork finishes. That's what prevents corrosion from going under your repair. So that, that skim coat's real important. Yes, it is. Helps reduce pinholes, adhesion. So now I've got some really great purple looking ice. It still looks like ice cream, Mike. Yeah, it's going to change though. It's yeah. Gonna change. It's going to change the green. It's going to make, you know what? It's going to look like vegetables in the end. Yeah. So we have a good mix. We were spread out. Yep. And then we're looking for this color green, right? Exactly. When it's done, when it's ready to sand, it's going to be this color here. So if I've got another car in, uh, in process, say, to stall next to me, or I've got something else that I need to go do, I can have a visual indicator across the shop of when I'm ready to go. We've all had a situation where we get on the car a little too early, we mess up, we've got to go back and remix and relay that down before we can start cutting again. So I've got that. This is what it looks like when it's cured. It's like a cooking show, Mike. I pick this down here and I bring another one out of the oven and we're good to go. Now, with this color changing technology, yes. if I still wanted to do a little rapid cure, let's say I still wanted to get a little IR on it, I still maybe wanted to go a little faster, can I still do that with this? You can still do that. Yeah, yes. just got to make sure I don't overheat, you right? don't want to overheat, no. Just a, a few minutes on and it's, it's really enough yeah. to get kicked off and going. So guide the temperature there. But here's another cool thing about this. The technology that's built in this filler allows me to let it cure over 24 hours over 48 hours, over 72 hours, after and it still the, tastes powder. After the first hour, that's it's going to stand the same from the first hour on to the 24th hour to the 48th hour. So one of the really cool things is I could even set the car before the end of the day, go home that night, and get on it first thing in the morning. Exactly, and it's going to be as if you, you just put it on. All right, so ambient temperature, regular cure time, what are we looking at here? We're looking 16, 20 minutes max. All right, so let's get to sanding on this one. You got the gloves. I'm going to have you hit it. There's a DA to your right, there's a hand block here, whatever you want to do. We're going to go ahead and start with a hand block. This is a, this is some 180 on here. Uh, most people will start with a, an 80 or a 40, the old guys will take it at 40. You want to start off 
real easy. 120 is often good enough to start with. So a 180 here. You can see it's powdering up how easily it sands. It's powdering up really great. So I've got a really nice powder here. I'm not having any gouge marks. It's going, it's sanding really smooth. And I think what's really great is it's going to keep that no matter how long I let it set. Correct. So even... Tomorrow morning we come in and sand it then and it's still going to sand. Just yeah. Same as it is now. So for my collision guys, we don't let things set a lot, right? We're trying to, we're staying on them, we're pretty tight, but maybe an overnight set. But for my restoration guys, that's a great piece of technology there to be able to set it something else into the car, put something else in the rotisserie and go to town. Undoubtedly, exactly. Yeah. And so this is great. It's available now, Mike. Can I get it now? You can get it starting starting today, yes. All right. Go ahead. Place your orders. Well, like I said, we called it before the SEMA show that it was a product that you must have to see. SEMA agreed and made it the best new product of 2018. So I guess the only thing left for you to do is get in touch with your distributor, get a sample, and get it in your hands and the hands of your technicians today. And if you want to see more cool tools, well, you can find us on Collision Hub.